Hello guys, welcome to Learning Microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to interface a 16 into 2 LCD with a PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. So let's get started. This is our 16 into 2 LCD, as you can see. It has 16 pins. If you hold it like this, from left to right, we have 1 to 16. So let me show you how to connect it with the PIC. This is our PIC16 FA77A microcontroller having 40 pins, a DIP variant. To interface this LCD with a PIG, you need a 3-pin 10 kilo ohm variable resistor. This will be used to adjust the contrast of the LCD. Let me show you how to wire these up. So as you can see, this potentiometer has 1, 2, 3 pins. And you connect pin number 1 and 5 of the LCD. And then you send it to the common ground of the PIG16 FA77 microcontroller. Then you connect pin number 1 of the variable resistor to the same ground. So in short, you have to ground pin number 1 and 5 of the LCD with the pin number 1 of the potentiometer to the common ground. Now you connect pin number 2 of the LCD to the 5 volt supply of the PIC or you can simply common it with a VCC pin of the PIC16 FA77A. Then you also common the pin number 3 of the variable resistor with the 5 volt pin. In this way, LCD gets the 5 volt and your variable resistor gets the 5 volt. Now Pin number 3 of the LCD will go to pin number 2 of the variable resistor. It means it is an adjustable pin. Now you can adjust the contrast of the LCD by using these wiring connections. Now connect pin number 4 of the LCD with any available digital input output pin of the PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. I am connecting it with a pin number C0 that is pin number 15. Pin number 4 is the RS pin and you connect it to the pin number C0 that is pin number 15 of the PIC. Now pin number 6 is the enable pin. You connect it to the any available digital input output pin. I am using C1. So C1 is the pin number 16. It is my enable pin. Now 7, 8, 9, 10. You ignore them. You go to pin number 11. That is data pin 4. You connect it to any available digital input output pin. I am using pin number C2. That is pin number 17 of the pick. D5 I connect to C3. And D6 I connect to D0. And D7, data pin 7, to pin number 20 of the PIC, that is D1. Now, pin number 15 and 16 are for the backlight of the LCD. You connect 15 with a 5 volt supply and 16 will go to the common ground. In this way, backlight of your LCD will turn on. If you leave these two pins, doesn't matter, LCD will still work, but there will be no backlight. So, if you want the backlight, then you have to connect these two pins like this. 15 is the power and 16 is the ground for the backlight. Now guys, this is our connections. What I'm going to do is, after this, I'm going to program it. I will program it in such a way that whenever the program runs, you will see learning microcontrollers like this. Okay, like this, you will see the learning microcontrollers. And then I will change the program. I will program it in such a way that it will keep on blinking like this. Learning microcontrollers. Learning. Then I will program it in such a way that fun on the first line you will get the learning and on the second line you will get the microcontrollers. So guys let's get to the Proteus demonstration before we get to our programming. So so guys this is our Proteus before we go to programming let's first make our Proteus circuit as well. You go to this device here you select PIC 16 FA77A write it down like this. You will get a PIC 16 FA77A simply place it. Now you need a variable resistor right variable resistor resistor sorry yeah, this spelling is incorrect variable resistor here you go now select the 10k1 this is the 10k1 as you can see place it wherever you want I am placing it here okay place it here now you bring your LCD right 16 cross 2 only here you go LM016 hour 16 into 2 LCD here you go place it here now let's do the programming as shown you shown you already in the presentation. So let's do it ASAP. First of all, pin number one and pin number five will go to ground. You take a common ground from here. Ground. This is our ground. Place it right below it. Connected. Now pin number two will go to the five volt. Also, it will. So we take a power source here. You connect both variable resistors one end and 
power pin as well and the other end of the variable resistor as shown in the presentation will go to the ground and the center pin is the pin number 3 of the LCD like this here you go now you have your data pins so RS we had connected to C0 there you go this is our C0 connected now C1 is the EN pin that is pin number 6 then we leave D0, D1, D2, D3 we go directly to the D4 that is pin number 11 that will go to okay D4 will go to simply C2 as in the presentation so this is our C2 pin now C3 will be the D5 so we take it from here we go to D5 here you go and our D6 is a D0 pin of the pick so D6 just take it to the D0 that is our D0 and D1 is the data pin 7 of our LCD so let's do it here you go data pin 7 now it will already have rest of the wiring it's a simulation simulation software so I will also show you the hardware demonstration as well so before that we program our pick so for that first of all open your micro C for pick go to new let me zoom it in okay click on file new new project here you go to next write any name of the project LCD 16 cross 2 LM learning microcontrollers I'm using pic 16 fa 7 a this is and the crystal I'm using is 16 megahertz so click on next 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 so here we got our wide main before that go to library manager there you go to LCD let me zoom in it further okay in the LCD here open it click on LCD INIT here now in the LCD INIT in the example you have this code you copy it simply you do not have to write all these commands just copy paste it here simple now see that RS pin as in our presentation our RS pin is C0 rename it oh sorry that will be C0 C0 here Uh, sorry just be careful c0 and enable pin is c1 and our d7 pin is d1 our d6 pin is d0 as shown in the presentation then we have our d5 and our d5 is c3 and d4 is c2 similarly now define the pin direction that is pin out now pin direction same thing again RS pin is C0 as uh, selected by us you can select any other pins as you like depending upon the availability of the pin enable pin is C1 then we have D1 that is our data pin 7 then we have D0 then we have C3 and then we finally have our C2 so our pins are defined now now you write a command LCD INIT this this will initialize the LCD module give some initialization delay 500 will be enough now we have our LCD initialized first firstly we will remove the cursor we do not need the cursor in our current program so you click on this LCD CMD then you copy this example LCD CMD clear you paste it here okay this will clear the LCD for any rag backed values give some initialization delay like 100 millisecond after that again you paste the same command copy it paste it you copy both we will need the delay as well and you placed it under it underneath like this now again you go back to the library manager from there you go to LCD CMD and there you have some command table like this available LCD commands here you have a command called LCD turn off cursor this one so you copy the command only this one like this now you go back inside the bracket you paste this here this will remove the cursor now you will not see the cursor now go to forever loop again it's better that you simply clear the screen one more time 
if there are any ragged back values like this now you go to while one like this this here forever loop starts and here it ends now what we need is that we write lcd out what we want to display on the screen click on here there you have an lcd out command this is lcd out now copy this example here example under the lcd out and you go back to your code and you place it here now this shows your row and this is a column from the first row and first column we have 16 columns and one two rows that's first row and start writing from the first column what we want to write I, as shown in the presentation we will write learning on the first row and microcontroller on the second like this microcontrollers okay now we give some initialization delay here we go that will be 100 millisecond will be enough okay i forgot this microcontrollers okay maximum we can show and this is row 2 and this is row 1 from the on the row 1 it will display learning and on the row 2 it will start writing from the first column that is microcontrollers they are exactly 16 characters and this lcd can display 16 character on one row now what we do is that we bump this code go to oh sorry you go up here you have this button click on it build and the code has built now see check for errors okay there are no errors okay that's great now we simply go back let me introduce you to the hardware as well okay this is our hardware here okay let me turn off the previous code okay here we go okay see this is our pic 16 fa 77 a microcontroller wirings are as shown in the presentation and this is our picket 3.5 i'm using for burning okay this is our screen now let me burn the new code okay you go back you open picket 3 programmer software click on import here we have lcd 16 cross 2 and click on write okay the program is being written let's see this is writing the program let's see what happens okay i click on the on see our program is working as required to further verify it i go to the proteus and i run the same program double click on the microcontroller our crystal is 16 megahertz let me zoom it in okay here you select your crystal it's 16 so i write it 16 now import the code click on this button from there go where you had made the hex file you have to import the hex file here get modified okay this is lm16 cross 2 this is the code we just wrote i click on it okay now i click on run simulation see it removed the cursor then it displayed exactly the same as displayed on the hardware so it means our code is working perfectly on both the hardware and the simulation as well now the next thing is i change the code now it will not only display this it will keep on blinking this so let's get back here we have our code now first it will display this then you need this command lcd clear command it will clear this now we have to toggle this so it will clear the screen for how long should it wait it should wait for 500 milliseconds like it will be total 600 delay of 600 and then it will display the same again it will repeat okay so let's build this code now okay it's build we go to proteus first okay there is our proteus you click on stop previous now the code is already imported the same hex file so for surety you build it again now go back to proteus click on run okay see it's blinking now now we verify it on the hardware so this is our hardware go to uh, picket 3 programmer software click on write again again the new code is being written or our modified code is being written let's see what happens now see it is doing exactly what we want it to do 
it is toggling it but uh, at a very high speed we lower down the speed to lower down the speed you simply increase the delay like i make it 2000 or you can say okay 2000 two seconds will be great now it will clear the screen and after 2000 or you can say two seconds it will show the result i click on proteus first then i stop the previous presentation stop and now i run it again it will run the new code now okay click on run now you can see it is following the same code but now it turns it off for a long time for two seconds see now what we do is that we change the code again we make it like it will turn off for two seconds but we make it like it should display for two seconds now it will display the screen for two seconds and then it will clear the screen and for after 100 milliseconds it will turn off oh, okay it will repeat then so it will be only off for you can say 100 milliseconds and on for two seconds now let's run this new code first check it in the proteus before we go to the hardware you click on stop to stop the previous presentation now click on run again now it will run the new code see for two seconds it displays and then it toggles so let's burn this on the hardware as well click on write again this is our hardware the code is being written okay it's written now let's run it again see it turns on then it blinks it's blinking see now let's do something else now i make it like this i remove this delay i use this delay in the center okay let me first zoom it in. as shown in the presentation our next step here it will write learning and after learning and after two two seconds it will write microcontrollers and then it will clear the screen and go back again okay so let's zoom out burn this build this code and run it on the proteus first stop the previous one click on run now see what happens learning and after two seconds it goes for the microcontrollers see learning and then after two seconds it goes for the microcontrollers now we burn this on the hardware as well click on hardware click on write it will now change the code okay our new code is being written Okay, it shows learning and then microcontroller and then it blinks and goes back again see learning i hope you guys learned something from this video thank you very much for your time and interest in my channel i hope to see you again so have a nice day and bye